It is uh, JJ, and he's going to tell us his review about uh, Meg's monster, which is cool, using a voice natural's text to speech. So he sent me his review. Um, let's see if this works. Tell me if you can hear this. All right. Meg's monster is a game that wears its Undertale influence on its sleeve. Could you hear that? I, oh yeah. Let's go. Meg's monster is a game that wears Take its it away, Undertale JJ. influence on its sleeve. I finished the game a while ago and don't honestly know how you even really review this. Good, good to know. On its surface, Meg's Monster is a simple indie RPG about a monster and a child in a silly buddy cop style adventure where you, the main character and monster <laughs> named Roy, are reluctantly yeah. protecting a child that can accidentally destroy everything. Meg is a little human girl that's fallen into a trash heap in the underworld mm. and is looking for her mother. Very normal. Humans are a resource in this world, oh. a consumable good bought and sold as food. Wow, terrifying. So naturally, everybody she encounters wants to eat her. <laughs> yes. Except naturally. for Roy who is obsessed with a black tar that is found in abundance. Huh. Roy is talked into saving the girl by his lanky sidekick Gallon. This is the part I'm having the most problems with, as I get into the combat. Tell me JJ, tell me about this. The combat is all event based. It is. Scripted. Huh. No random battles or side battles. Really? The combat aesthetically looks like Pokemon. Roy is basically indestructible. What do you mean? He has 99,999 HP. Oh. You're never going to fall in battle. Well, then what's the hook? The hook is that Meg <laughs> gets worried when Roy gets hurt. <laughs> Tagline means if she cries, the world dies. Oh, boy. So if her worry meter gets to zero, it's game over. How, what, that's crazy, though. You can counteract this with items that are toys. You entertain her and make her happier again. Oh, that sounds cute. This sounds cute and <laughs> unique unless that. you really just think about it and realize that the HP on the monster is fake and all they've done is rebrand HP and healing items. Uh -huh. Also, the combat just gets boring. Whoa. That's deep. Every battle has a gimmick and every battle has story beats that dictate how the battle is going to go. So it's scripted is what you're saying. It's a game of resource mm. management in battle, and it's fine for the first couple. Okay. But over the course of the six to seven hours you're playing, it becomes more and more mind-numbing. Wow. That, the soundtrack is phenomenal and everything is designed and crafted with love and attention. How much do you love? I love all of the creature designs. Okay, like who? Roy has such a great look for a main protag. <laughs> That's good to know. I just feel like I went into this game with the wrong mindset and it tainted some of my earlier experiences with the game. Uh, I can see that. With all of that being said, and how cruel I am to the combat, <laughs> I love this game. Look, what is it about though? This is a game all about the story, and okay. while I may not have had all that much fun in the fights the story itself. Okay. I was invested in the story with my entire heart. You were? I cared about the characters, I was drawn in by everybody. Why? I needed to know what came next. Uh. It was important to me. This game brought genuine tears to my eyes. So you, you cried? I cried. I knew it! Not a lot of games can say that. Did I enjoy playing the game part of the game? Not really, but even with that said, I think this is a game experience you must experience. Huh. You cried. It's truly a delight and had I gone into it thinking of it as a visual novel instead of an RPG uh. it would have been easier for me to get over the shortcomings of the combat. I cannot recommend Meg's monster enough. Wow. Well, there you go. Oh, a, a strong recommendation for Meg's mom to play the uh, the trailer here. So, uh, thank you, JJ. That was, that was interesting. No, I... Um, once he sent that to me, I did a little bit of digging and a, um, a, a couple folks kind of mentioned the same thing uh, or similar in that the combat is it's fake. It's meant it's not meant to be actual video game combat. This is a, a visual novel that, um, uh, you know, that you're you're meant to experience a story. And so I think it's kind of cool. It's a different take on what uh, in this Pokemon ish monster hunter whatever whatever jj was talking about there that uh can be kind of cool but uh yeah looks interesting i'm gonna i'm gonna take a look at it six to seven hours that's right up my alley man because that i don't that same. that's perfect timing and same. anything that can get emotions kicking uh throughout because of that i think that's something that um that i uh you know i can get behind so and kind of cool monster designs too 
for neat. Thanks, JJ. Very, very nice of you to, to share your thoughts on Meg's, Meg's monster.